Okay, so welcome back here. Uh, we've given this the uh, night so I dry out here, and everything is dried out here. And again, I the uh, mud that I'm using or the joint pound pond that I'm using is the Easy Sand 90, and the bag is out right here. And this is the um, remnant. This is the uh, leftover stuff from what I used yesterday. And you can see how hard that it dries. So it basically dries like concrete, and it's and it's and it's uh and it's excellent to use for uh, repairs like this, where you don't want it to crack in the future. Here, so I'm gonna put this down here, and I'm gonna grab my uh, light here. And I'm gonna come over to an area right here. So this, so the, so this is an area where I had to cut away where the uh, mushroom, where the mushrooming effect was, and you can now see that that it's concave here, and you want that concaveness there. You don't want it. You don't want a hump there because if you have a hump, then when you go to tape it, uh, well, you you would have to sand that hump down and then ta tape it. But if it's concave. Then when I go to tape it, the tape is going to get recessed in that. So that's a good thing. So that if the tape is recessed, then we don't have to span the mud for further out to the left and right. So you always, so um, be, before we ended with the last video, I took my six inch knife and I, and I skimmed down all the joints again um, to make sure that it was either flat or uh, concave, and you could, and you saw how much came off. So you always want it to uh, to uh, be concave there. Um, and if it's not concave, then you're going to have to sand that down, either by scraping it with your with your taping knife or using sandpaper. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, tape this. So I have my easy sand that I just mixed up right here. And we're going to be using just paper tape here. And I already have my pieces all cut out there. Um, so we're gonna load up some on here. Again, I'm going to reorganize it here, put it to a ball, and give it a little jiggle and extend it. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, start with uh, this seam here. So I'm going to load up there. What you do is you can put it like that there and then skim down. Put more mud here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down it 
and skim hard. And that's going to add mud to the left and right of the uh, tape there. And come from the bottom. Just a little mud there. Add some there. Skim down hard there. Okay, that's going to clean that up there. Tip there and come down like that. This mud is, is uh, looser than, 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 than I thought here, so I'm going to load up right down here and I should take care of that there. This tape here. I'll come down there. And uh, once again, I'm just going to add some down here. Okay. So I'm going to come into the middle of it here, put my hawk on it, and go up hard. Now I'm going to reload the mud here and come down and skim tight. Clean that up there. Okay, so you can see that we should add some more mud here. So I'll load up that side there, lay the mud down, and come up here again. Fizzle that up there. And you can also use your uh, six inch blade too. To uh, do this. So now we'll come to the top here. I'm just gonna roll it up like this here.
Okay, now just go back and look at your work here. So if there's any ear pockets or anything like that, you can flatten them out now. And just add some to this corner here because I think there's a chunk in the mud and I got a scratch there. hand side here and come below the tape here. Okay, let's look at this one here. And drag it down like that there. Okay, so now it's taped, so we're just gonna let this dry dry out, um, and then we'll be back to apply some, some more coats to it. So we'll see you on, on the next one.